Today, we will create our first Docker file. Hi, I'm Alex, the architect from MacFrap, and this is Talking to the Architect. And in the last video, we told you that the Docker file is the main file to create a Docker container. Today, we will learn the basic commands to create a Docker file and create a basic one. So, the Docker file is just a text file. So, to illustrate how to create one, here I have my Visual Studio, and we are going to create a directory where we are going to work in. I will just leave my where it is, and then we'll create new file and give it a good name. So, Docker file. The syntax should be the first D of Docker file must be uppercase and all the other letters a lowercase. When you hit enter, it will ask you where I want to save. I'll save it in my desktop and create file. And now I can start working. I can start the Docker file with a few comments to help people um, reading this file later on to understand what the file does. So I'll just put a hashtag and put this Docker file was created by Alex. And the very first command that we're going to use is from. If you need to start from the scratch, which means you have no uh, other containers to base your image in, you should write all in uppercase from and then scratch. On the other hand, if you want to base your uh, container into an existing image, you can put the existing image in here that you, you can find in the Docker Hub. Today, we are going to use our node and then the uh, specific uh, tag for that uh, uh, image that we are building on. So, 12 Alpine. Then we can start running some comments, and there are two ways to run comments. The first one we're going to see is the run comment. The run comment will create comments that will be executing during the build time of your container. So this is a very good place for you to install software into the container, for instance. The, com the command is run, and then you can add the comments that you need. You can have multiple run commands into a Docker file. So if you need to run multiple commands, you can put all in one line run, which makes it more confusing. Or you can have multiple runs and every time one step finishes running, the next one will take place. So in this case, we're going to run apk add minus minus no cache python2, which will install python, g++, which will install g++, and make. This will install and add all these packages to my node uh, 12 Alpine image based uh, container. Then you can set the work there. Every time you execute a command into a Docker container, it must be run from within a directory. If you want to set this directory, all you have to do is put work there and then put the directory where the commands will be made from. In this case, I'm going to put slash app. So it will be uh, exactly the same as if I entered the app directory and run all my, com my, com my comments from inside that folder. Then you can start copying files from your machine, your physical machine, to the uh, Docker container. If you need to deploy software, for instance, software that you build yourself and you want to deploy with your container, this is the place to put it. I'm going to put copy dot space dot. This would copy all the files that it finds into my desktop, which is the folder that I'm working right now, to the main folder of my uh, Docker container. Then let's suppose I want to add more, uh, run more comments in the build time after adding these files. I can put in more run comments. So run yarn install minus minus production. This uh, bases that uh, all the, cop uh, the files that I copied in line 5 has some dependencies that yarn must match. So this is why I'm running yarn install minus minus production. So all the dependencies that a uh, possible yarn configuration file would have been copied to, uh, to my container through the copy command will be satisfied. Now it's time for me to execute comments from inside the container. Now the CMD uh, command will execute comments from inside the container, but not in the building phase, but in the running time phase of that container. So you can put CMD 
and you can put a string in here with the exact command that you need to, to run or if you need to pass in parameters you have to put these brackets the first uh, string will be the comments that will be running in this case node then a comma because this is an array and then all the uh, uh, parameters for the node comments that you're executing so let's put src which will be a directory also copied by my copy command slash index.js this will run the node uh, executable targeting this uh, source uh, index.js file and last but not least if you need to con uh, connect to that container you have to expose it you expose the container by telling the telling docker by the docker file that you expose a certain port the most common, uh, commonly used port for that is port 3000. So all you have to do is put export, it's, sorry, expose 3000. Now with this uh, Docker file done, we could run our Docker comments that will build this container that I'll show you in the next video. So if you found this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. Also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you are subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or any implementation you'd like to see, please leave it on the comment section down below. We always answer all the questions. I hope this content was useful for you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye bye.